Hi, Psych2Goers. Have you become really interested in self-help and self-improvement lately? This pursuit of more and better things, whether they be better health, clothes, or money, has been normalized, but sometimes to the detriment of people's well-being. It can almost feel embarrassing to not be hustling or be improving yourself in any way. In the end, this mindset and self-improvement culture can make you feel disempowered, like you should be someone else. So here are five time-wasting self-improvement habits that are harmful to you. Number one, extremely high and unrealistic expectations. What are some goals that you have set for yourself? Having goals can be very helpful since it can help give you something to work towards and place your energy into. However, when you're trying to elevate yourself, you may end up comparing yourself to people you idolize and whose lives may seem so much more beautiful and better than yours. You might create wild expectations of how you wanna to get to where others are in the same amount of time or in the same way as them and subconsciously adopt their ideals and expectations. This is a harmful habit because you're not focused on yourself and your enjoyment of life, but on achieving other people's ideals. Remember, you don't have to be perfect. You just need to be yourself. Number two, the hustle culture mentality. Do you tend to overwork yourself? The idea about how you must never give up or that you must constantly hustle, even at the expense of your health, can be very damaging to your well-being. Sometimes things just don't work out and you need to give up, but that's not a bad thing. It can be heartbreaking and tough, but it may be necessary, especially if it's draining and taking a toll on your body and mind. As much as there are people who have to support themselves and others by working long hours, constantly hustling without taking any breaks for yourself to get your bearings may only lead to devastating burnout. Number three, putting aesthetics over health. How often do you use social media? While it can be a tool to help you change your life for the better, it can also distort how you see yourself and others. Instead of promoting healthy lifestyles and practices, the media, and especially social media, advertises certain body types as desirable and important. Women are implored to get dangerous, unnecessary cosmetic surgery, and men are told to be jacked and in the gym by any means for those gains. But our bodies are not trends that we should be ashamed of and indoctrinated into plucking, plumping, and injecting for social media likes and strangers' validation. Your desire for your self-improvement may end up overshadowed by insecurities about your body, and that's a hard mindset to come out of. Number four, information without application. How many self-help books and guides do you have stacked up in your room? Like many others, you may tell yourself that you'll start applying the information once you finish reading all of it. But there are so many books and new ones that will keep coming out. All of these how-tos can be helpful, but they won't be of any use if you don't actually apply the things they teach. As powerful as knowledge is, applied knowledge is the best kind. Don't be afraid to implement what you've learned into the world. And number five, visualizations without action. Do you dream about the person you wanna be or the things you wanna have in your life? Perhaps you see yourself as a painter or a pilot, or you wish you'd have a big house or a nice car. Visualizing the life you want and putting it out there can be a great way to get yourself hyped and motivated, especially when you need to tap into your willpower reserves. However, this can become an issue when you only put it out there and fantasize about it with nothing in between to bridge the gap. As much as you can dream of the best life you could ever dream of that you deserve, if it lacks the structure and execution in reality, it's only a mirage. Remember that you have to actually do it to get there. Do you do any of these habits? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.